Hello guys, are you in a day? Welcome back again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Please don't forget to like this video, guys. Comment, share it on all social media platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Adam's Link Media. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification to get more updates. So, guys, currently, Bono Boy and Revolutionary Fighter Showery kind of like had a little quarrel yesterday on Twitter. This is what happened. Showery said, Bono Boy is one of the musician in Nigeria or the person, the only musician in Nigeria known for fighting, for fighting for Nigerians through his music. So, and he wants Bono Boy to do it exactly the way Fela did it. The what he wrote, he said, Hello Bono Boy, everywhere I turn, people describe you as a revolutionary musician. The foreign media even celebrate you, compare you to Fela Kuti. But I am yet to see you lead anyone to the police station carrying the coffee for your head of state during October 1st protest. Revolution now. So it's calling on Bono Boy Shower. Of course, you guys know Shower. Shower has gone to yeah, he, he, has, he has gone to court locked up over Nigeria issue and he has been he has even come out to contest of presidency uh, and also is the part owner of uh, Sarah reporters so this guy is now calling on Bono Boy he did call on David Whiskey he called on Bono Boy to join him to protest this October 1st so Bono Boy said when fella was alive the very people he was fighting for are the ones who put him through the real hell. People even stayed away from my mother's family for associating with Fela. They killed his mother and most Nigerians said he deserved hate. Everybody is a Fela fan and supporters now that he is dead. Humor and so funny. You, politi you, politi uh, you politicians and are all the same, especially in Nigeria. And frankly, I don't trust none of you. Showery. Of course, he's right, guys. Honestly, let's just, just be frank. He said what he said. Nigeria will praise you when you are up and still be the one to nail you to the cross and that's on it, period. Nigeria will praise you when you are up and will still be the one to nail you to the cross at the same time. Fela Kuti now, people thought he was drunk. People thought he had so many women that died of HIV. Those, the same people will be the ones celebrating him. Human beings are trickish. But Nigerians as a human being are 100% more trickish than a normal human being. That is just a fact. Go on Twitter now, you see them. You can never do something good when you talk. They will say, Why are you even talking? If you don't talk, they will say, You are not talking. When you fight, they will say, oh, Are you the only person in Nigeria? If you don't fight, they will say, Why are you fighting? So, what exactly do people want in this country? What exactly do they want in this country? So guys, I'll leave your comment and tell me, did Bono Boy respond to Showere the way you wanted? Because Showere told Bono Boy to join him on October 1st to protest since he's a revolutionary musician, just like Fela Kuti. Bono Boy said, no, I don't trust anybody, including you, Showere. Do you think it's right for responding to Showere that way? And there are also guys, here is a very uh, a, a, a video of a wicked woman who poured hot water on his house on her house help a eight years old house help for leaking milk a woman poured hot water on her eight years old house help for leaking her milk without her permission 
And if you even check this out here, she is so tiny. She's so like she's you can see that yes, this house is really really suffering. So lean. And me, why check this woman? This woman is so robust and fat. All because of milk. These wicked couples poured hot water on this eight years old girl. Why should a eight years old girl be doing ASEP in the first place in Nigeria? Why should a eight years old girl be doing ASEP in this country? Why? But guys, uh, let me read. Uh, so, uh, according to the news, they say a lady identified at Ina Chukwa has confessed to scaling her eight years old house help identifies her mom with hot water for eating her baby's food. It was gathered that the suspect, who is married to Emmanuel from Enugu State, have both been maltreating the, their maid for months. According to a source, I felt sad. According to somebody who knew them, said, I felt sad for this girl. Information got to the human rights NGO that the couples were maltreating their maid. It was discovered on Friday, September 25th, 2020, that they had been feeding mom's sand to eat. They had been feeding this, this housemate sand to eat. When mom decided to lick their baby food, Ogochuku beat her, then went ahead to pour hot water on her. They haven't been arrested, and I'm calling on the appropriate authority to take this case up. So currently, they haven't been arrested, and this and uh, somebody who reported this issue to NGO is calling the appropriate authority to arrest this woman. According to the news, according to the source, the woman has been feeding this this their house help sand. Then they ask, uh, "It's hungry, of course. She got to eat." So she decided to eat the baby food, milk. And they, she beat her and also poured her hot water. Firstly, anybody that can take eight years old, below 16 years old, as has as, as help, or well, let me know because it's common, below 10 years old, as house help, that person is wicked. In fact, below 14 years old, as house help. That person is automatically a wicked person. What kind of job will you give that person to do? Come on, man. African Nigerians, eh? I, I, I saw that guy is Peter P. Square. Peter Koye, popularly known as Mr. P, has been called out for wearing a fake Richard Milley wristwatch worth 88 million naira. So according to it uh, to one Instagram account, who is pop where the the account is popular is popularly known for exposing people with fake wristwatch, it's called a fake watch buster, called as Peter Okoye for rocking a fake Richard Milley wristwatch. He said, Peter Okoye, you are wearing a fake uh, fungus Richard Milley Arohem 055 Bordeaux was son. Busted. A genuine recent milli watch worth 2233k dollars. Then he went ahead to show the difference of the pictures of the Richard Milley pictures. Well, uh, well, Peter Koye immediately responded and said they should allow him to wear his fake wristwatch in peace. Like me, honestly, guys. Yeah. When it comes to expensive stuff, the real expensive stuff and uh, all those kind of stuff, I know I cannot afford. I don't go for them. I easily go for unbranded clothes. There are so many, so many of branded things, clothes, wristwatch, shoes out there that are extremely nice, good quality. Just wear it, buy it. That is my own lifestyle. Until I have enough money to be able to like uh position those kind of things, until then I don't want to like I will keep wearing on branded clothes. So if I should ever wear any branded stuff, you know it's original, straight. 
if you ever see me wearing it because I can afford it. But if I can't, I can never wear the fake of it, never. I would rather go for a branded one, on branded wristwatch or branded things, straight. So, uh, well, I don't know if it's fake or not because I cannot tell. I've never seen a Richard Milley wristwatch before, face to face. Is it true that Nigerians are more afraid of police than the criminals? Is it true that Nigerians are more afraid of police than the actual criminals? Leave your comment below guys and of course COVID-19. 2.6 billion COVID-19 money, EFCC and ICPC just find that 2.6 billion naira of COVID-19 money in a private account. You know I keep saying this, after this whole thing, when they start investigating NCDC, all of you will be shocked to see the amount of money they may have scooped from there. Seriously, we will all be shocked because people use this opportunity to make a lot of fortunes. And meanwhile, this 2.6 billion naira of C19 money found in a private account is just lying there. If it's 2.6 billion, that will tell you that they have already, there are still other accounts they have scooped money in that they haven't traced yet and they have already shared it. Not to talk about the one they have already spent. So this country we are in for a big run, like for a long run, we are still in. We are still going to remain here guys. So guys, I thank you very much for listening. Thank you for all the supporting. Don't forget to like this video. Comment, share it on all social media platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Adam's Link Media. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.